Let's take a step back and return to February of this year, the first in the nation primary. Joe Biden comes in fifth here. It's a body blow to his campaign, one he, to his credit, predicted, but that was a low point for him. Blown out by Bernie Sanders, surpassed by Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar with moderate voters, he was definitely on the ropes. There were a lot of people who thought it was only a matter of time before he would have to drop out of the race altogether. But then he comes in second in Nevada and scores a big victory in South Carolina, getting validation from a key Democratic constituency, African-American voters. And after that, he was on his way. In terms of how this unfolded over the last few days, as we've been explaining, this was all just a matter of time and math in terms of the vote count. Let's talk specifically about Pennsylvania, the Commonwealth that put Biden over the top. All of the decisive ballots were in on election night. The in-person votes were counted first. Those were largely Republican, and they favored President Donald Trump. But the mail-in, absentee, and early vote was largely Democratic, favoring Joe Biden. And those had to be counted after the in-person voting was done. So that took time, and the race was close, but the trend line always favored Biden. With 20 electoral votes, Pennsylvania was decisive, but then Biden added Nevada. He could still add either Arizona or Georgia, but at this point, that is academic. Important to note, the president and his allies have alleged a widespread multi-state voter and election fraud operation on behalf of the Biden campaign. So far, there has been no evidence of that. And in Pennsylvania, where the Trump campaign is focusing its accusations on urban areas like Philadelphia, Biden actually underperformed Hillary Clinton there in Philadelphia, and Trump did better than last time. Biden picked up support in rural and suburban areas of Pennsylvania, about 2% consistently around the Commonwealth. When you have millions of votes cast, if there are irregularities, you would see something out of whack in one county or another. And that's not the case at the moment in Pennsylvania. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.